Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have a cold power plant, Hagia Sophia and Zhukov. Because I put only 7 mods and 1 map every mod Monday, uh, some of the mods couldn't make it in this mod Monday, so I'm just gonna call out uh, the best ones in the beginning, <laughs> not the best ones, but the ones that didn't make into this mod Monday, uh, but uh, yet they are wor worth mentioning. That would be a couple of maps of Rio de Janeiro, we had similar map to of Rio, so I didn't want to include it this time, well, I chose another realistic French location, you're gonna see that later. Uh, there's a set of buildings by... Uh, Jutland or Jutland uh, Polish buildings they are absolutely amazing plus Lex 713 he made a set of Midwest housing pack uh, also he made the uh, brownstone buildings as well uh, electronic component factory but Rob 074 uh, was not included in this mod Monday and it should be but we only have few of them to check out and also deep underground military base by Mesa uh, if you want to go and check these mods in our uh, mod workshop in the steam workshop please go and check them they were released all of them in last seven days and let's get cracking first things first electric substation by Colati electric substation based on a real 10 slash 0.4 kilovolt uh, VHTR substation from Hungary includes four versions low voltage substation with road and the second one will be with path and high voltage substation with road and the second one would be with path we're gonna demonstrate all of that uh, right let's go and check them out so these are they look all the same they are practically the same it's how you connect them to your road system or the uh, to your rest of the system for firefighting purposes. Some of them have footpaths. Now, usually these footpaths have a problem if you need to construct wires from the side of the footpath, uh, but usually that's not a problem because uh, the cables are constructed in one go and they can be constructed from the side of the uh, transformer. Now, uh, this, uh, as you can see here, two of them are connectable by the uh, footpath, two of them connectable by road, and then we have the electrical system, like we said, uh, medium voltage, they have two connectors each and then we have high voltage as you can see here let me see if we have any different no looks like they it doesn't matter if it's high voltage or medium voltage they have maximum um, maximum output of two two and a half megawatts that's a little bit low i have to say because if you connect the big cables even the smallest big cables i believe there are three megawatts we can check it uh, actually i was wrong it's four megawatts is it yeah the smallest big cables we have are four megawatts and the these have a limitation of two and a half megawatts so not sure if there's any point of getting a uh, high voltage uh, connected to these but uh, this is definitely my favorite mod because i come from that neck of the wood and in my in my in my neighborhood we have similar to these anyway for more details first we're gonna compare the prices which is kind of actually interesting uh it's 900 rubles vanilla is 1000 this is a smaller metal building while this is a tall building much bigger so i think the price is quite realistic so it's definitely not a cheaty mod okay you early starters you're gonna enjoy this one wells for the village by nti you have a description in russian i'm gonna read the english one because my russian sucks uh water supply system for villages the pack includes three models of wells that can be used as well depth minus two meters pumps uh, minus four and minus eight meters water treatment well minus six meters need coal and water distribution unit minus 10 meters we're gonna inspect all of them but first things first we have the small i don't think it was actually uh, listed there we have the small here we go the small pier here a river platform where you get the dirty water you know like the the it's it's always default on 77 percent water quality so it's 23 percent 22 percent dirty so just a heads up and then you have wells the only difference i noticed with them i thought it was the length of a boom here but uh, you can see here that they have four meters that's probably depth that they're going for uh this one is this one is uh pumping like, let's see we're gonna go for the pipe system here we go as you can see, these are the forwarding stations to to pump it down the down the stream, down the 
down the line where they are needed and uh, similar with the wells as well so you have this pumping station do we have anything regarding the sewage no this is only water supply so nothing regarding sewage and you have multiple different thing uh, connections as you can see and you can make your all your own early start village with these what about the pricing of these well they're all over the place and they're pretty cheap but you would expect them to be cheap because they are uh, just wells nothing more nothing less so just a heads up on that as you can see here there are 200 400 rubles you can find them all over wherever they are uh, located uh, now we have the water treatment system uh, that would be this one over here as you can see uh, we have one of those uh, this is 20 cubic meters of placed water. It's again also affordable one. So it's a, a little bit cheaper than vanilla, a lot of bit cheaper than vanilla. But this is something that is for really, really early start. And um, you take it as you wish if you want to use it or not. Uh, but they are quite affordable. Link in description of the video. Fox Emperor and Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia Cathedral. Hagia Sophia Cathedral is one of the main attractions of Istanbul. Now its beautiful building can become ornament of your capital presented in two versions, church and museum. Yes, so I did uh, place both of them here. We can see it's a 3.3 quality of service expected rating uh, as a museum because I'm going to explain this as well. And then it's a church for 4,000 bill of well, church. Uh, you can take it as a mosque because historically Hagia Sophia was both. Uh, it was Orthodox Cathedral and also uh, it was a mosque. At the moment, I believe up until a few years ago, it was uh, as a museum or just as a monument. But something, something in Turkey, something, something, maybe it's going to be a mosque or it is. I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, uh, you can use it as a religious institution in, just, in this case whatever you wish you can use it as an orthodox cathedral or you can use it as a mosque uh, it's up to you but um, really really beautiful building now uh, this building is not not cheap this is really expensive now churches we don't have selection for churches here we can go to our mod section and find the Hagia Sophia here it's the latest mod we have 332,000 rubles which is quite quite expensive I would uh, assume that uh, <sighs> You have cheaper churches as, uh, as mods. Unfortunately, we cannot compare it to vanilla. Uh, the same price goes for the Hagia Sophia as a museum. For more details, go and check the link in the description of the video. Zix Abakab and Monument to Gorgi Zhukov. This is a sculpture of Gorgi Zhukov, uh, a famed marshal of the Soviet Union, supports loyalty, alternate version, uh, yara yara yara, monument, uh, loyalty 1.8%, uh, 185 meters is the influence distance, electricity consumption, none, none, okay, that's all, uh, yara yara yara, you're gonna have to go and read all this for your on your own. Now, this is iconic general of the well, marshal, uh, Zhukov, uh, who was leading the, uh, I'm not sure which front, was he the one who was in Stalingrad front, but I know he was uh, le leading or uh, orchestrating charge of Berlin uh, at the end of the Second World War, and he is the highest ranking officer, I believe, in the Soviet uh, military, and of course, there's a lot of monuments of his uh, all over the Soviet Union and today's Russia, and this is one of the, I think, of the most famous ones. Anyway, so this is uh, Georg Zhukov. We're gonna go and compare this uh, monument to vanilla ones, uh, the price wise and the influence wise. As you can see here, is that an eagle there? He's standing on eagle. It could be like German eagle or something. Uh, Nazi. Naughty. Uh, right, so Zhukov with a lot of medals on the chest, of course. How else? Can you prove that you are? <laughs> uh, we have a Zhukov over here and the 4,800 for 1 1.8, 185 meters. So let's see if we have something similar. So this one is a little bit shorter, but has more loyalty. Uh, 1.8 loyalty is not that much, you know. You have much more uh, loyalty with some other monuments. So it's pretty low on loyalty, which is fair. I mean, like, he's not Lenin. He's not the sequel and hammer. Uh, definitely, this is more famous. But um, uh, distance is 185 meters, so kind of compensates for that. I think, I think it's a really fair 
uh, fair, fairly price monument and I think it's a really great thing. Link in the description of the video if you want to use it. Exactly what we needed. 1940s Suburbia by Mr. No, that was sarcasm if we needed. We need the urban sprawl in this game. Uh, suburban houses from the 1940s, period. I believe that would be American, United States houses. Everything, even the white picket fence. No, I'm kidding. There's no white picket fence. Uh, they're just the housing. There's no more description than uh, what I read here. So we're gonna go and uh, compare it. What do we have? We have the whole suburb, like the whole neighborhood here, the whole street. As you can see, it has a capacity of 72 people each house has a capacity of six workers well some of them have four and five as well but let's say six in average so how many houses are here we have nine on each side that would be that would be 18 houses if we go 18 houses times five that would be 90 people so if you go and build these houses on your own you would get more capacity uh, the smallest one is four so if we have 18 times four that's 40 and then eight times four that would be 32 that would be 72 so uh, these houses here even though they look like similar to these they're not because uh, they, they kind of correlate to the smallest house over here so so this is 18 houses, uh, four person, four people living in each. I think it's a fair. I think it's a really fair price. I would personally, I would go for making my own houses rather than these, just because you can put the footpaths in between them, passages if you want to build the whole suburbia neighborhood, and it's a really nice mod. I'm actually gonna keep this one and I'm gonna test it out and try it. Unfortunately, uh, can we compare this to anything? Let's see. Uh, we have uh, the whole complex. Where is it? Four. I'm gonna have to find the whole complex. Uh, it would be in the medium size. Here we go. The medium size is 72 people, 22,000 rubles. Now, if you follow this channel and if you know the prices, vanilla building prices, they don't go over 20,000. Even the most expensive ones uh, that have double the capacity are cheaper than this. So this is definitely, definitely, definitely fairly priced mod, even a little bit on the pricier side. But hey, it's a burbia, it's urban sprawl. So uh, you would expect that it would be more price, a little bit pricier. Even individual houses, with six workers they would be around 1000 rubles where the vanilla one vanilla one here they would be around 4000 rubles and they have twice the capacity so i think it's extremely fair priced if you want to learn more you have a link in the description of the video big heating plant by robs 074 big coal fired heating plant based on real building in lublin poland employs 60 workers 60 interesting capacity of the water tank is 21000 cubic meters you have description in polish as well okay let's check it out so it's a really beautiful building unfortunately i'll just tell this joke one more time Probably not, but uh, unfortunately, Mr. Robs dropped the ball. We cannot choose the skins for this one. No, industrial industrial buildings they don't have skins. They they have uh, Mr. Robs is one as far as I know. They only have the the uh, skin that uh, it was set up initially. This is a really really beautiful building, as you can see here. This is the where the coal is being fed. Uh, we have big chimney here, and then we have these uh, connectors uh, for the chimneys. And oh, should we climb here? I don't know. In younger Daredevil days, I would probably climb this, but nowadays, nah, just like, you know, I like my life as it is. Uh, I don't need to be uh, disabled for the rest of my life, <laughs> falling off, something like that. Oh, probably, yeah, anyway. Uh, right, so we have the uh, building, let's see what we have, 21,000 cubic meters of water. How does this compare to vanilla? We're gonna start comparing it straight away. Uh, it doesn't say in gigajoules, which I would like to know, so we can more easily compare it. You can see here 420 gigajoules, and the bigger one here is 210, so it's double It's double the vanilla one. And I'm pretty sure that Mr. Robs just doubled everything there. So we have 420, 15 tons of coal. Uh, oh, it actually consumes a little bit less coal. Yeah, you, you would expect it to be a little bit more efficient than, you know, when, when you have a bigger productivity building. Uh, 30 people, you have 60 in in the Robs's one uh, price is almost double it's more or less double so i would say this is again fair compared to the vanilla one bigger vanilla one so yeah it's more or less the same i mean double the price and then we have environmental damage three, uh, 38 tons this one is uh, 26 the vanilla one so technically you're not doubling the pollution so it's a little bit more efficient less pollution it's more pollution but less pollution po per uh, gigajoule of heat so really really nice thing uh heat water tank 1050 literally half of the one that uh, uh, vanilla has so if you want a fair building this is the as fair as it goes half the price or sorry double the price double the productivity
society double the workforce from vanilla building oh and uh, i forgot to mention the connections it has crap load of them it has a lot of connections so you're not going to be missing those anyway for more details you have a link in the description of the video Armenian school pack by Abelian Hike 852. Pack of seven Armenian typical schools popular in different towns and villages in Armenia. You have seven different buildings. Uh, two two floor, three floor, and four floor buildings. Uh, the biggest ones go, four floor buildings go up to 1,000 students. The smallest ones are around 400. Uh, of course, it also depends on the productivity of your population if you're playing with productivity. This is similar to some vanilla I saw somewhere. It, it, at least it's similar. It doesn't have to be uh, same. This one has, uh, that would be the smaller one. It should have uh, around 400 students capacity. And the biggest ones would be four floor. That would be something like like this and something like this. They, I'm pretty sure that they have different capacities. Yeah, you can see that uh, less professors, less teachers in those schools. I just wanted to check this one. Uh, this is three floor high. Ooh, is it a kindergarten? That reminds me of. We're gonna check. We're gonna check. And this is a uh, one floor high or two floor high. Ground floor depends. In America, I think they count this as two floor. Um, I, I forgot. I, I don't know it's it's naming of the floors so in Europe most of the countries say ground floor and then first floor in United States I think they say first floor second floor anyway uh, really I'm really surprised by the the how nice looking buildings are they're really beautiful I love the color scheme I think this is the biggest one that misses something outside maybe small basketball court or something or some kind of playground that would be really really nice uh, fitting for this school the rest of them they have a little bit of a small or footprint so as they are will be perfectly fine maybe some foliage or something here in between in between the buildings here but um, yeah again this is just my two cents so definitely something here would be nice and uh, here maybe foliage or something but it's really really beautiful okay let's compare it to vanilla Okay, let's compare it to vanilla. So, the vanilla schools we have over here, 12,000 rubles. All the uh, Armenian school pack uh, schools are way, way, way more expensive. As you can see here, this is the biggest one. It's 93,000 rubles. Compared to vanilla, only 13,000 rubles. So, it's really fairly priced. Now, uh, second thing, I would say they are more expensive. But the size-wise, uh, looks like the vanilla school is luxurious one compared to some of these schools. Which probably they would be. I mean... Uh, I'm pretty sure that Armenia had similar thing like we had in Yugoslavia in the before the 90s. Even now, you have two shifts of the school. There's not one shift from nine to nine to five that kids stay in school or nine to three or whatever there there is. Uh, you would have early shift from seven until one, and then late shift from one or two until the seven in the afternoon. So you would be able to pack uh, double the amount of uh, children than they would be in uh, some other schools like in Ireland or United States. So uh, it would be buildings would be way way more efficient so i think it's quite fair to leave it like this with a higher capacity uh, because i like it and i don't consider this to be a cheaty one anyway for more details you have a link in the description of the video i give you toloon france it's toloon france by morkup we have it's a peninsula with i'm gonna pronounce this i'm gonna butcher it six foes left plague whatever uh something in french uh due to maps orientation and geography there's only one large border connection with soviet uh, countries on the west side the other uh, are nato countries and the next update comes out it should be possible to customize the borders right so uh what do we have we have a french map realistic map why i chose this ah just because I was here. This is uh, this location here. Let me just uh, check exactly what it's called. But there's a church here I visited on my travels when I was a kid. It's called... It's close to Marseille. Toulon is quite close to Marseille. And there's um, Notre Dame de Sur... No, Notre Dame du, du Mai. I believe it's something like that. It's a Mediterranean um, Notre Dame church uh, based uh, all the way here in the south, somewhere on this hillside. I'm not going to go into details where it is, but I remember visiting this when I was a kid in my high school. Uh, right, so this is a really beautiful, realistic map of this location. So you can go check it. It's quite, quite details. Morkup does this often. Now, uh, map, map has realistic and beautiful geography, which is, the, of course, my favorite part of these maps. Um, the negative side. I don't know one border crossing I don't really care if you start on this side it 
it doesn't mean I think you can manage with one border crossing and also there's a lot of opportunity for shipping for you if you want to do something like that of course as mentioned in the description there's one two three four five uh, NATO border crossings but the Soviet one has everything railroads electricity and all the other shebang that you might need here it's a big big border crossing okay now the tricky stuff resources again this is my opinion and um, means nothing and it should mean nothing to anybody you guys should do you but I would have a little bit less and more concentrated uh, sources of coal for example if you're gonna go near the, uh, the Soviet border because coal is I think everybody's favorite uh, resource to go for when uh, when making when uh, when uh, ex uh, starting the map uh, maybe a big source of coal here in the mountains it doesn't have to be 100% it could be a little bit you know painted like these ones uh, iron maybe the same it doesn't really matter it's nice that it's here on some hills you know younger hills oh sorry older hills here uh, the, the sharp hills are usually younger the the smooth hills are older so some of these uh, hills it's, it's really a wonderful location of iron I have to say oil wise again a little bit offshore no no actually nothing is offshore but it's on the islands there this is really nice uh i like the oil deposits uh uranium perfect perfect and then we have bauxite i think it's nicely nicely um uh, placed now and again downside uh, this was <laughs> on other maps as well uh, but unfortunately these are artificial artificial uh harbor locations for how it's uh, you know the the border the uh, harbor of Toulon, how the how it's uh, placed and the man-made inlets uh, for you know where the ships are supposed to dock again it's not really viable criticism it is realistic to how it looks these days but uh, just uh, my two cents but that's it uh, i'm gonna leave this to you guys and uh, no, of course population i love population i'm gonna leave this to you guys i'm gonna say i really uh, i really enjoyed making this episode uh, there was such a sweet worries which modes to choose because there was at least 10 of them oh, sorry at least 12 of them that I wanted to put in this episode but I urge you to go and check them all out for yourself and choose something uh, from our nice modders I'm gonna say I hope you enjoyed watching this one as well if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like subscribe notification bell ring at comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel I have the description of the video thanks for watching guys and I'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye